We're in Camden in uh, Regent's Canal right now. And this is, well, I mean, it's always been a nice place for graffiti. In more recent years, ATG and Mighty Mo have hit up this spot a lot. But right before Christmas 09, Banksy did four pieces along the canal here. And we're about to check them out. Things have changed a bit with them, and uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. Not your typical Banksy's anymore. As you can see, that no longer really looks like a Banksy piece. Uh, an, an old graph writer from uh, years ago, decades ago really, uh, who used to be a really respected guy, still is, uh, has painted over Banksy's piece here and left only this uh, classic sort of character with the paintbrush. What happened here was Robbo, or King Robbo, used to have a piece that was underneath everything that Banksy's done. And it was 20 years old, 25 years old, and it was still intact, partially. There were a lot of tags over it, and it wasn't perfect, but it was a piece of graffiti history in London, or at least that's how uh, a lot of graph writers thought of it. Banksy went over it with this character here, and made it look, and also with a lot of this gray paint, and made it look as though the wall was naturally gray, and that this worker was putting up a wallpaper of graffiti, of Rabo's piece. You could see it as Banksy saying, notice this piece by Rabo that was done 25 years ago that no one outside of graffiti still recognizes. No one saw it that way. Instead, it was an attack on Rabo. Apparently, there's a history between the two where Banksy met Rabo, said he didn't, he'd never heard of Rabo. Rabo was not happy with that. There was a bit of retribution. Now Banksy's come back to write over Rabo. And then Robbo found out about this, and on Christmas Day, he comes along and repaints this piece. That was just the start of it, though. Banksy did three other pieces along Regent's Canal at the same time, and we're going to go see the rest of those and see what happened to them. So this is another one of the Banksy pieces, and originally it said, um, I don't believe in global warming, and it got Huge publicity, uh, all the environmental blogs picked it up. I thought it was one of his best pieces, definitely one of his best recent pieces. You can see here it's sort of uh, at high tide, the piece actually goes a little bit underwater, where it used to say global warming would get cut off a little bit. Rabo has gone and changed it up, sprayed over where it said global and uh, awning, and just, I don't believe in war, and of course, too late for that. He st Banksy started a war with Rabo's people, and they're going to keep hitting up Banksy's, I guess is the message, which is too bad, but hey, Banksy knew what he was doing when he painted over that piece. So this piece that Banksy's done on the, the Regent's Canal, and probably his worst, frankly, I think everyone kind of agrees. It's one of his old rat pieces, and it wasn't really well sprayed. A lot of people can't even tell if that's a tail or a tail coat on his, uh, on his tuxedo there. And so it's uh, not his greatest piece, but, but what the Team Robbo's done here is they haven't even modified the piece. They already know it's not a very well sprayed stencil. And also, who was the original person to do rats? It was Black La Rat back in 82, 83. So, and he did rats all over Paris. You can't look at Banksy's rats, and if you're aware of Black, you can't not think of them. So Team Rabo, aware of Black, so maybe not as ignorant about street art as they'd, they'd like to seem, has gone and just turned it into Banksy La Rat instead of Black La Rat. If you're aware of Black, you know what's being said here, Banksy La Rat. He's just, Banksy's ripping off Black's things. You know, I don't necessarily agree with that, but it's definitely something to think about. It's definitely something people have noticed over the years. And Robbo have just, they haven't even bothered to modify the piece because as long as they say Banksy Lorette, that's a major insult in and of itself. It's basically like saying that Banksy's ripped off somebody else's style, and that's one of the most insulting things you can say to a graffiti writer. So, with this piece, originally, again, Robbo and his, uh, his team have modified it. Originally, it had this same fisherman kind of kid, but instead of fishing up a sign that says street cred, it's a, it was a little Banksy tag. Now it's sort of been turned around, and as uh, another guy, No Lines in England, described it, I think, the boys become Banksy, this sort of country bumpkin 
kind of guy. He's, he's from Bristol. He's out, out of the way, you know. He's not a London graffer. And, and he's fishing out street cred from the canal. Um, and he's found his street cred by ripping off all these other graffiti writers like Robbo, is, I guess, is the theory. And then the message next to it, uh, did you think it was over? And did you think it was over? You know, Robbo's gone over all four pieces in the canal now, and he's probably going to go over more Banksy pieces, or he could, because that's a graffiti culture thing. If Banksy went over one piece by Robbo, Robbo's got to go over 10 pieces or 20 pieces, whatever it is, whatever it feels like, until he feels satisfied that Banksy knows his place. So he's going to keep, he could potentially keep going over Banksy's work until he's satisfied. So there you have it. In Camden right now, there's a little uh, graph war going on between Banksy and Robbo and his friends. It's brought a graffiti artist out of retirement and uh, brought some new notoriety to him. And right now, Robbo's the one winning. So perhaps Banksy will be returning soon from uh, his trip to the Sundance Film Festival in Utah. And maybe he'll have something to say. But uh, yeah, hopefully he'll have something to say.